Sky Babes. Welcome back to season three of the Sister Show. Sister stands for Sky is staying true always because that's, that's our thing. Sissy Kama Sky Girls to go all about staying true to who we are and what we believe in. But that's not all. We are all about friendship, fashion, music, and just having a dope time. We can't explain how excited we are for season three. Hey, it's finally here cause it's bigger, it's better. I'll see your step. Kabisa Mary. This is on to corner dope celeb interviews, in-depth conversations, fan challenges, and so much more. So you better hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and let us vibe every week for nothing but good vibes. I am your host, Mirio Wendy. Cooking is my thing. Peer pressure is definitely not my thing. And I am your host, Stephanie Rebecca. Fashion is my thing. Smoking, not my thing. And this is what we have for you for the very first episode of Sister Show, season three. A recap of what has happened since the last season, a hangout search with a few Sky Girls and podcast members, and lastly, a quick trip to our fashion closet for some drip worthy fits. So get comfortable and let's get the show started. Bethe we miss hezi kuchocha na feel poor sana kukuwa hapa. Akineza ongea sana jo excitement. Babes, suu tuambie nini imekuwa iki happen since last season? That one I can do. First thing first, Sky turned to in August. Happy belated birthday Sky. Tunataka kuthank each and every Sky girl out there kwa sababu imekuwa pure vibes ju yenyu. Another thing we are proud of, ni pa. Born to Fly, our favorite teen drama series ever. I love you. Pia truly launched the Sky Hub, where you can come get your favorite Sky match, hang out and interact with the Sky community. Wow, hiyo ni poa sana. Unajua tuli launch not one, not two, but three issues of the Sky magazine. I love you ndio issue 7, issue 8 na issue 9. Kama uli miss out, uneza pata link pale kwa website yetu. Na pia usisahau kutufollow kwa social media platforms zetu at SkyGirlsKE, pale Facebook, Instagram, na pia TikTok. By the way, we love to hear from you guys. Speaking of magazines, Mary, which issue was your favorite? Mi manze ile issue ili ni bamba, ni issue 8. Story ya Temina Semu, manze she's an inspiration. Na wewe? Gen Z, I think ni issue 7. Ili tufunza kusema no in the most confident way. And I think that's very dope. By the way, it's so nice. Yeah. Sasa, we are going to hand it over to Wangari Kimani in the Celebrity Corner. Karibuni sana to the Celebrity Corner. I'm your host, Wangare Kemani, na season three, tulisema tunawapea vibes upon vibes. And guess who we have today? We have the PA season one cast. Join me in welcoming them. Thank you girls for coming. Mnaka vizuri. Santi sana. Pia wewe. Santi. Thank you for having us. You look amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mnaza jintroduce na msemi ya roles za nyamili play kwa pa, kwa watu hawa wajui. I'm Tana Gashoka and I play Talia on pa. And I am Stephanie Mishiri and I played Lydia on pa. I'm your host, Wangare Kemani. Beautiful, pretty as always. And I'm the girl. Always. Always. Period. So, Leo, to know everything pa, you need the highs and the lows of pa. So, kilam to apa. All of us, we have been new students at a new school. Yeah. Nina kuanga tricky. Tricks. Tricks here and there. So, we saw Steph, her character played Lydia, and she was the new student. Have you ever experienced it in real life, and how was it? Um, yes, I have. Uh, for me, I think it was more of a culture shock, to, uh, moving from a public school to a private school. So even the change in like um, environment and even the people, the type of people who are there, it was quite scary for me. But at the end of the day, I think we were able to manage through, through God's grace because A, it was very hectic. Imagine coming from a public school where you're just so used to like we used to eat with our hands, we used to wow. I mean, <laughs> used to be the like, gay <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, now going to school to a public a private school where we, we were eating with like forks and knives, we're having dessert, we're having fries in school pillar. What? 
where you mean <laughs> imagine so like it was it was just it was a it was a shock but it was it was interesting it was an interesting shift okay mm. as for me my first experience i was just scared because i'm short I look like a kid Such and this. <laughs> and everyone was there like look at this tiny kid. Are you serious? I'm like yo. <laughs> anyway, we pulled through. Mm-hmm. We pulled through. Mm-hmm. So to Leona, what work is smoke, tunajua pressure. So have you ever experienced it ama ushaikuwa pressured ku smoke and how did you deal with it? For me I don't think I've ever faced it. I don't know about you Tana. Um I think it's obviously just less about necessarily people will pressure you but you'll end up doing a lot of the things that the people around you do mm-hmm. so i feel like if you don't like smoking don't hang around people when they're smoking make a habit of if someone smoking leave yeah. and you'll find you're arguing you're pressuring each other and that's not good friendship on either end yeah. you don't want to be a judgmental friend and you also don't want to be a peer pressure friend yeah, yeah and we have seen for us as sky girls we have realized It's not a thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> so Tana, you saw your character Talia and um she could treat Lydia wrongly. You made her feel like she was out of place. Have you ever like experienced it firsthand or how would you have taken it differently from your character? I've definitely experienced it firsthand. I'm sure most of us have and yeah. even the people who bully have that's why they're bullying other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think the best way to always deal with negativity is with positivity. Okay. Like it doesn't matter what someone's putting at you that's negative, just respond positively and like yourself, like don't change yourself or degrade yourself for the sake of getting back at someone or feeling like right about something because if you know you're right, you know you're right. If you feel right, you feel right. So I would have as a character like Talia, I would I would like encourage her as her friend never to treat anyone like that okay. because it's just wrong like we're all so human wrong. beings. Yes. It's yeah. very wrong. It's yeah. just especially over something as trivial as money yeah. which isn't even hers. It's not even under her control. Yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> the idea that you could think that a human being's value is within monetary, monetary it's exactly. ridiculous. It's like If you look at the show Lydia is smart, she's funny, funny. Yeah, she's kind, nice. she's loving. Like she's all these things. She's such a hard worker. She takes so much of her burdens oh, from home. Okay. Like yeah. So emotional. <laughs> I think the only reason Talia can't understand that is because she can't understand having all those pressures. Yeah. So she looks for the little things in her life to complain about instead of being grateful. Oh yeah. Yeah, and to stop on up on what um she said. I feel like some bullies are also just projecting their own insecurities their own, yeah. on other people. So let's say for example as you said like Talia feels some type of way about like ha- all these pressures like lacking some things, having to be validated and that's something that Lydia just has naturally so she's projecting her insecurities on Lydia and also as Shiko Shiko is just always Shiko is just a bully <laughs> <laughs> but yeah full i think most of them just project their insecurities on someone it was her school it was yeah. their school and i also think if you treat someone with kindness you have the opportunity to show them like positivity and maybe uh, you'll yeah. impact them going further in life yeah. like you'll never regret doing something good for someone that's so true of course so on par we saw Mato put pressure and like making you making Talia feel so uncomfortable have you guys experienced it and how was it the issue is people are scared or they don't feel comfortable enough to vocalize it oh. and like set hard boundaries with people like i know so many people who they're so uncomfortable with hugging people they don't know yet it's such a forced thing and people's space is such a sacred place yeah. like it's really <laughs> horrible and unthoughtful of you to invade and misuse someone's space yeah. and Talia as a character I would advise her to be careful of who she lets into that space as well as who she gives the opportunity to just be around her because once you give someone like this much they'll take this much yeah. yeah i like what you said concerning the like the fact that um people don't vocalize the boundaries it's okay to speak out it's it's don't feel like um like life is about like 
minimizing yourself to get to a certain position yeah and i feel like we need to stop as a society placing blame on like victims yes. and telling like victims it's you who needs to know not to wear this yeah. what, what time you don't not wear this to, yeah instead so of teaching someone to. how to just have common decency yeah like the most basic of basic. you don't even have to like someone to treat yeah, them decently yeah. yeah so how would you advise the girls everyone watching uh-huh. on how to handle pressure for me i just say speak out if it doesn't make you happy talk about it if there are people who actually value you and um know your worth then they will respect your boundaries but if they're not these people are better off not being in your life because yeah. at the end of the day you'll end up making decisions that are not making you happy that you'll end up regretting and this is your life and you only have one life to live you know so just just never compromise and always speak out. Okay. I definitely agree with Steph vocalizing your thoughts is very very important. I think it's also very important to set your boundaries with people. And I also think like on the other end of the spectrum, like for both sky girls and guys, we should normalize asking people what their boundaries are, yeah. asking people for permission, asking yeah. people if this makes them uncomfortable. Yeah. Because a lot of times people don't want to be rude yeah. and if you give them the space to express themselves like they will they and will. It, yeah, yeah they will and like if you ask and they're comfortable what's been hurt like nothing, what did you nothing lose? has been yeah. hurt yeah. so in pa we saw Mato put pressure on Talia mm-hmm. and they weren't even in a relationship and he tried to get physical so in in the real world what advice would you give to a girl who is in a relationship and is not ready to like get physical how would you advise girls on how to navigate that my advice is for both boys and girls cuz okay. i know a lot of boys who have been forced to get physical and do things which they weren't comfortable with purely to show that they were a man yeah. or that like to prove some ridiculous idea of masculinity that doesn't that shouldn't exist yes. or shouldn't have to exist and so many of my guy friends have I feel like been taken advantage of by people who are older because there's a idea in our society that boys boys should be men. My advice for everyone is to never yeah, never compromise about anything. Don't ever feel the need to explain yourself. Like you can give your explanations to people to help them understand, but if your partner like someone who's supposed to be committed to you and love you and care about you is questioning why you don't want to do something so individualistic then they're not a good partner yeah and i feel like you need to be okay to let go of relationships especially when you're young yeah. you know like someone can be there to teach you how to be a good person how yeah. to be a good partner how to just be a better friend even yeah. yeah and if you let relationships go on and it's also not bad for someone to want those things from someone else but if you don't want okay. them then it, there's no negotiation there's no discussion there's no discussion yeah. yeah it's just more of like if you're in a relationship right now even if you're younger i'd advise you to just take things slowly make sure this guy you're in a relationship with or this girl you're in a relationship with is guiding you to be a better person because for me i prioritize self growth in a relationship yeah. like if i'm not growing with someone where am i even in well, that relationship yeah, yeah. you know so don't ever compromise your happiness as she said don't ever compromise your happiness to make someone else happy because at the end of the day they're taking from you and you're not gaining anything from them yeah. right so learn to understand who you are what you like what you don't like what is your thing what is not what your, your thing, thing. Exactly. you know so I, i don't know it's just just right now just build yourself mm-hmm. so that when someone else comes it's more of like not at he at he does he like me, me? it's more of like do, do i, I like, like them yeah. you know because you're so self sufficient mm-hmm. in yourself and you know your standards you know your boundaries you know what you can't settle for yeah. you know so just work on yourself know who you are thank you ladies for gracing the celebrity corner today thank, thank you. you for the great advice you guys are fun thank, thank you, you for, for having us you know, wow so jinx fun. jinx <laughs> It's been great. You've been amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. To all those who are watching us from home, thank you so much for tuning in. If you can reach out Bonga na 1 to 1 on 1190 totally toll free. Till next time guys. Bye. 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 You know one of my favorite things to do ni kuchill na mabeshte, having a good time and going out for lunch. Lakini kuchoose outfit 
hair when I'm stressed, I don't know what to wear. If you're like me, today's fashion tips are just what you need. Like in before to Wednesday, I have with me two Sky Girls and two Sky Guys. They are going to introduce themselves, tell us what's their thing and what's not their thing. Hello guys, I'm Lewis. Fashion is my thing, smoking is not my thing. I'm Damaris, traveling is my thing, gossiping is not my thing. My name is Kennedy, doing TikTok videos is my thing, backstabbing is not my thing. My name is Nusra Mohammed. dancing is my thing, smoking is not my thing. So guys, just as you are paired, you are going to pick her outfits and you are going to pick her outfits. So we are going to start from you. So I'm gonna pick out this pink fluffy jacket and pass it to her to try it on. It will really complement with her look and and also these flaming glasses can really really make a really good combination with the outfit. Mm, I like it. Uh, yeah. What's unique about the outfit? Uh, first of all, I feel confident in the puff jacket. Yeah, and the glasses. Yeah, they're so adorable. Yeah, they look good. Where will you go with this kind of outfit? Um, road trip and photo shoot. Do you like the outfit? I love it. So for Nusra's outdoor look, I'll tend to pick out for her a cashmere scarf and a kitenge too to go with it. This one will go for the head. Like this. Then also, I'll pick up the villain white glasses for the sun. Guys, as you can see, I'm a fashion influencer. As you can see, her look from the cashmere scarf to the glasses to the kitenge. Yeah, it's bland, so. Hey, can somebody say drip on drip on drip? Where? I'm a fashionista and I'm a fashion influencer. Okay. Sina maoni kabisa. The looks were nice. Nilizipenda zote. You guys can tell us what your favorite looks were at our social media pages at SkyGirlsKE. Bye, babe. Bye. Bye. Here is what to expect on the next episode. An all-new Pink Out segment where we'll have Heart to heart conversation, report aqua ground at Atupeleka inside Sky Hub, and we will discuss some few school hacks. Make sure you may tune in when you uko for amazing content and having just a great time. And that's all the time we had for today. Lakini, si unajua the deal. Catch us next week, same time, same place, dope vibes. We'd also love you to be part of the sister show. So, to ambia your favorite segment on our socials na Kenya unataka kuona on season 3. Follow us on our social media platforms at SkyGirlsKE, pale Facebook, Instagram, and also TikTok. Alafu, if you want to be part of the Sky Squad, you better take the Sky Pledge at our Sky website and then boom, where when the Sky sees. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I am your host, Mario Wendy. And I am Stephanie Rebecca. See you next time. Till then. Be true to you, boo. Bye.